So it is my pleasure to announce to you the launch today of LF Decentralized Trust. And as Gab said, it is a new organization that's a combination of existing Linux Foundation projects and new projects that I'll be talking to you about that is really focused on decentralized systems and technologies. When we talk about decentralized technologies, we're talking about blockchains and distributed ledgers and smart contracts, decentralized file storage and identity systems, zero knowledge proofs, and much more. And this is a very exciting time for our new projects and our new communities here at the Linux Foundation. The impact of decentralized technologies is no doubt happening. It's rapidly shaping markets and disrupting traditional business models and systems, many of you working on these things. It is modernizing core infrastructure across finance, trade, government, healthcare, and more. And the opportunities are great. Just in asset tokenization alone, uh, predicted $16 trillion market cap by the end of 2030, and many say it would be much higher than that. Here at the Linux Foundation, we have a growing ecosystem of projects that is building on more than eight years of projects and communities and maintainers at the Hyperledger Foundation and at Trust Over IP and all the members of the Linux Foundation that's been supporting us. Plus, we have new projects that I'll be announcing today in communities. Since 2015, at the Linux Foundation, the Hyperledger Foundation has been the home for blockchain and digital identity projects, starting with Hyperledger Fabric, and today we just announced Fabric version 3.0 that has some great enhancements that our maintainers from companies like IBM and Hitachi have been working very hard on to increase performance and to also release a new consensus BFT consensus module. As we grew and as we expanded with new projects around identity, like Indian Aries, uh, who run digital identity projects worldwide, we also have one of the top three uh, Ethereum mainnet execution clients with Bezu running 15% of the Ethereum mainnet today as an execution client, in addition to many private permissioned tokenization projects around the world. We have labs and, top and uh, uh, projects on interoperability, and we are happy to include Trust Over IP, a JDF, a joint development fund project that since 2020 has really been building on digital trust at internet scale for architecture. And this is a, our first JDF project in the Linux Foundation Decentralized Trust. We have uh, many other projects that are really shaping the world today. And today, September 16th, 2024, I'm pleased to announce our newest project called Lochness, which is a new open source ecosystem focused on key management and digital signature protocols, contributed by a company called Defense, with already a working contributor list that also has key cryptographer, academic cryptographers from around the world. And the spectrum of blockchains is all. We've since the start have understood that there's not one blockchain to rule them all, that there's permissioned and permissionless blockchain use cases in the enterprise around the world. And I'm happy today to announce our newest project, Hyro. Hyro is an open source distributed ledger, and it is one of the first public blockchain layer ones that has contributed its entire code to a neutral organization like the Linux Foundation. So we're very excited about Hyro, which is coming to us from the Hedera ecosystem, and the co-founder of Hedera will be coming on to give you an overview of Hyro and the community that we're building here at LF Decentralized Trust around Hyro. We are fueling the future of decentralized technologies. Companies like Siemens and Visa that have helped and supported the Hyperledger Foundation since 2016 have become founding members of LF Decentralized Trust. New members, for example, like Polygon, a public layer one uh, company, um, and Tata Consulting Services have also joined LF Decentralized Trust to support our mission. 
We have central banks as founding members, some of the largest ones in the world, and today we announced the Central Bank of Brazil as our newest associate member in central bank ecosystems. So now we have hundreds of members and associates that are supporting LF Decentralized Trust. Today we announced 13 new members, including a new premier member to help support the growth of Linux Foundation Decentralized Trust with Hedera joining our governing board council. We are continue to be community driven and we're building upon the thousands and hundreds of thousands of participants worldwide that support our communities on our projects, really building collaboration in places like India where we have over 15,000 participants in our meetups communities. We are growing landscape of decentralized technologies. These are all the projects that we have today. And keep out, uh, an eye out for new projects coming soon as well. And if you are also working on decentralized technologies and you have projects that you think would be a good fit for D, uh, LF Decentralized Trust, please come and see us. We'd love to talk to you. I invite you all to join LF Decentralized Trust and have a seat at the table as we shape the future of decentralized technologies around the world. Join the community, the maintainers, and the members who have been supporting and will continue to support our efforts. And join us in, as for all members, in San Francisco on October 23rd and 24th um, at the San Francisco Mint, where they used to print old money. We'll be talking about new digital money and new digital transformation with decentralized technologies as well. So welcome to Decentralized Trust, the newest umbrella at the Linux Foundation that is bringing trust to the ecosystem.